After three weeks of winter break, Purdue students are starting to filter back onto campus. Businesses that rely on student sales say they're more than ready to welcome back the Boilermakers. News 18's Holly Campbell reports the impact students have on our local economy. Purdue students are returning to campus after a three-week break for the holidays. A break many businesses say they're ready to be over. Our business drops off about 35% when the students are around, so we always look forward for them to come back here from uh, Christmas break. Follett's Purdue Bookstore Director Jeff Julik says when the students go home, his store cuts back its hours. You know, we do scale back our hours uh, when the fresh when the uh, students are gone, um, but then we expand the hours for back to school, and, and you know we're open late next week as they all come back to get their textbooks. Restaurants are feeling the lull of winter break too. Winter break is probably our slowest time of the year. Um, a lot of people do leave town, including the staff. Where summer break, not as many go. And when the students leave, Mad Mushroom Pizza owner Dave Summers says. Sales go down. Compared to when they're back in school, I'd say winter break is maybe a quarter to a third of the business we do during the uh, summer or the fall and spring sessions. And with many students working at Mad Mushroom, Summers says it helps compensate for slower business. A lot of our staff are students as well, so they go home anyways. It allows us to manage our staff that way. Um, but yes, we definitely do employ less people during the breaks. Both businesses agree students are the key to their success. Without Purdue, we would, you know, we're here down the heart of the village. Without Purdue being right next to us, we wouldn't be able to survive. The students are really the heart and soul of our business, and so they drive, they drive our, our operations, and we're so glad to have the students here. Thankfully, the wait is over, with students returning to campus and classes starting January 7th. Holly Campbell, News 18.